Hello everyone, this is Bless and this is the Random Box News where I try and post a video every month of the subscription boxes that we either order from, the codes, and whatever goodies I can find at the time. I know I haven't been posting much, there's something I've been trying to do and it's been lagging me behind. So, further ado, here are some of the things I wanted to talk about. We have Doki Doki, Nerd Block, Loot Anime, and the new Mexi Treat. So, let's get on in. Here we are. Nerd Block has released their shirt box, which is where you can get five shirts exclusive to this block only. If you get shirts in your other block, you will not get the same shirts in this one. You also cannot buy these shirts in the store apparently is what they're saying what they said um so you can only get these shirts here there are no themes to this box they will be randomly selected for this box only each box will be thirty dollars plus shipping it says now as for your shirt sizes there is a unisex a men's fitted which i've never heard of and a girl's fitted it goes up to 4x which if you look over here Nerblock charges you a little bit extra for larger the sizes the larger it is they also have a nice little viewing chart where you can figure out what size you can pick from apparently they have other things in their apparel just in case um your phone type which is only the iPhone and the um, Samsung I don't have either underwear size which mm, I'm not even gonna talk about that shoe size is interesting too bad I'm a wide but yeah this is interesting it, it's a nice little shirt block the thing is to me everyone is putting shirts in their boxes now it's like you get a shirt you get a shirt you get a shirt so it'd be nice to see what kind of designs they have once they launch officially but I guess we shall see in the next 35 days also I didn't see a code for this um I do know if you go to a per well basically if you go to a YouTube channel where they're showing their nerd block there's a nerd block code for each person I tried doing it one day and it didn't work for me maybe their code was not working but you get to save $5 and you get to help another YouTuber by giving them $5. So, yeah, it's a win-win. Maybe it will work for shirt block. Not sure. So, we go to the next item. So, over here in Doki Doki News, we have... Um, yeah, they're Doki Doki. I believe, yes, it's back to school and they decided to do an apparel. Which is a Rodakuma shirt. Yay! They're making bigger and better things in their boxes. And the thing was, I actually was one of the people who voted for getting maybe a couple of less items in their box for better items. The only thing is now they are going to throw in shirts. Which is fine. But like I sh said, everyone is putting shirts in their boxes now, which kind of makes me sad. With Doki Doki, it would have been nice if they could put a shirt every now and then, maybe a hat, maybe, I don't know. I'm not really complaining, it's just, what is everyone doing with all these shirts? Also, I forgot to say, I am not sponsored by anyone to do any of this. I'm just doing this for my own fun and enjoyment. So yeah, get that out of the way. Um, so Japan Creates Doki Doki has their shirt table, which they have announced, well, not officially, I was just reading in the comments, that they said that all their shirts are unisex, which is awesome. You have your small, your medium, your large, and the biggest is the X, the 2X, and they have a chart. I actually like the fact that it's unisex, because like I said, fitted shirts are just not for everyone. If you do not tell them what your shirt size is before they send out your crate, 
you will automatically get a large shirt. So I suggest you do it now before they send out your stuff. I've gotten like four emails for for them asking me what size my shirt was before they send out my box. So no excuses. <laughs> um oh the next thing on Doki well not Doki Doki News, but Japan Crate has a new box. I believe they're calling it the um um a or you may box which is their ramen box clap clap for japan crate i wasn't there when everyone was voting so i'm not sure what the other boxes was so this box will be 25 dollars. i could not find the code for this box they didn't post one and i tried using one of the other codes that I found and it won't work on here. So it says that you like you were in Japan with this box, you get a monthly supply supply of rare and delicious Japanese exclusive instant noodles. Crates include seven to eight premium quality noodles from udon to yabasoba, spaghetti, soba, ramen, and more. You'll also receive a, a surprise monthly bonus item like collectible chopsticks and fun ramen a or fun ramen um gachapon i think this is an awesome concept i don't think there's that many ramen subscription boxes and this is just a build up from their originals and i will be ordering this but japan crate has this this habit of getting like super happy and throwing codes in places which make people upset. So I think I'm going to let this month go by since there's only 10 days. And then I'm going to wait the following month to see what everyone has. Truthfully, I like ramen. And if they really do find exclusive ramen from Japan or other flavors that I can't find here, it'll be great. <laughs> Fun fact, these are called Naruto, and they are fish, fish steak, patty cracker things. So, on to the next box. We have bounced on to Loot Anime from Loot Crate. So, right now they're having a summer sale. If you use the code Get Squadron, you get $10 off. Now, if you add the plus shipping and handling, that's normally $30 for me. So, taking away the $10, that's $19.99. Saving $10, which is good. The Good Squadron is um, one that I'm passing up. But these are what you get in this box. And since I am not really a fan of Gundams, the end, I have not watched any of these animes. Which is why I'm skipping it. Which is sad. But hey, you guys have enough time. Order by um, the 27th to get, to get your boxes and to get this deal. And that's it for Loot Crate News at the moment. On to the next box. On my le next list and my last, this is Mexi Treat. The newly made subscription box that you can get Mexican treats sent to your home. I've seen one unboxing and it seemed pretty cool. So each box is $10.99. There is a shipping fee of $5.99 which equals up to $17 I believe. But there is a code that I've watched a YouTuber's video and his code was Iron Man, which you get 10% off, which only takes off a dollar oh nine. But hey, anything to save. Anything to save. Um, I'll probably put his video at the bottom once I get a chance if I can find it again. Alright, so yeah, it takes it off right away. So I did see a comment that someone I guess they lived in Canada. 
and apparently they get charged 160 for three boxes, which I subtracted to, well, I think 180, she said, for three boxes. So I guess it just depends on where you live for the shipping itself. I subtracted it by three, and it should have came up to $60 for shipping per month, which is a, a huge, a lot. It's a lot. I haven't filled out this coat thing, so I'm. it's probably normal shipping for me. But I suggest you look through all the information and figure out how much shipping it is for you to be out of the country. So I believe that's it for my random box news. I believe I covered all the new boxes that I knew of. Well, not all the new subscription boxes, but all the updates to the ones that we normally go to. Or all the new ones that I normally go to. Oh, look at me. I'm rambling now. Well, tell me in the comments what other boxes that you buy. What updates to things that you like or what you don't like. And I will reply. And thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye. And stay random, people. Everyone stay random. You stay random. You stay random. And you stay random. <laughs>